So let's, yeah. How's it going? Hi, Simo. So Hello. my, hi. So my name is Richard Darst. I'm one of the instructors here, and with me is Enrico Glerion and Simo Tuomisto. And yeah, well, we're just a few of the people working here to make this course happen. So we've got about. 10 minutes of icebreaker kind of time to get started. Um, I'll quickly we... note that uh, should we have the background of the icebreakers on the, on the stream? Yeah, let me, let's start with that. So I will switch to a screen share here. And this is called, well, we call it HackMD. But really, it's not technically HackMD. It is the um, it's HedgeDoc. But in it, this is sort of our home base for the workshop. So if you click up here, it goes above the top of the screen so you can't see. But you can switch to an edit mode and then scroll down and you see things here. So this is Markdown. <laughs> Sorry. This is Markdown. If you click around, you can figure out how it works. You basically do what other people are doing. But this is what we use to communicate. So if you open this, you'll see some icebreaker questions. For example, what university are you from? What do you expect from this course? And maybe someone can go and do a demonstration of writing things here. Yes, there we go. So please come and open this. And if you're here, add like answer these questions. So there's a poll here, you add O's to vote. And you can also write what do you expect from the course and what's your ideal way to spend a summer day. And while this is going, maybe we can introduce ourselves. And actually we'll talk about this HackMD thing during the proper introduction in about 10 minutes. So don't worry if it doesn't make sense. We'll get there. Uh, is our audio balanced? Should we do our standard audio test? So order me, Simo, and Rico. OK. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. six. Oh, sorry, seven. <laughs> we lost. Counting is difficult. <laughs> so. Is the audio balanced? Who needs to be higher and who needs to be <clears throat> lower? Yeah, as you can as you can hear from questions that Richard is posing, this is going to be quite interactive. So we try to like involve people in the in the chat and through other method, methods in the uh, actual stream. So if if there's any problems or anything like that, let us know in the HackMD and yeah. Um, yeah, that's the best way to to let us know about this. It's yeah. a TV show. Yeah, for the interactive ones. Uh, there's a note that Enrico is a little bit higher. So I should be lower. Yes. I can just try not to scream. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix my Zoom settings, hopefully. I've been a bit unlucky with hardware. In the past 24 hours, but <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. So let's introduce ourselves a little bit. So my icebreaker question to the other instructors is, why are you here? And you can interpret that however you would like. I can start. So why am I here? Why am I in Finland? I'm from Italy <laughs> and I ended up here in this cold country. Of course, you know, I chose to be here. I didn't. And or kind of, I don't know if I chose to be here, but I'm happy to be here. But long story short, I was a researcher. And then the most of my time I was enjoying helping people. And in the end, I think I joined one of the best teams that is trying to help many people at Alto in the Nordics and also anywhere else in the planet when it comes to this issue of so scientific competence. So I'm very happy to be here. 
with you and with anyone else who is watching from home. And then Simo. That's a tough, <laughs> tough, tough <laughs> act to follow. Like, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, I'm here, of course, because I'm paid to do this. But, but at the same time, like, uh, guess like you mentioned, it's it's very good, uh, very nice to help people with their problems. So my back background is in physics, but uh, throughout my studies, I realized quite quickly that uh, my expertise is not necessarily knowing what the physics, how the physics works, but how to solve the things. And and in that, computing is nowadays like quite commonly used. And throughout the years, uh, there's a uh, there's a lot of lot of different computing problems that people have, and uh, it's always nice to help people. And and get that way a contribution to the science, even if you don't uh, do the science yourself. Yeah. And then, I Richard, what, why are you here? <laughs> that's a good question. So, I guess you could say I'm here because I was a researcher. I did a postdoc at Alto, and I enjoyed the research, but I enjoyed the scientific computing part of things rather than the applying for grants and writing articles and papers. So I slowly tried to move myself that way until I found a job in this team that's putting on this course. And well, yeah, I guess the rest sort of developed naturally. So yeah, that's my story. Um, yeah, let's take a look. Let's see what people are writing here for our icebreaker. So, yeah, so far we see people from all to Helsinki, Tampere. If you're just joining now and you're registered for the course, in your email, you should have a link to this HackMD document. Well, not HackMD, it's notes.coverefinery.org. If you open this and switch to edit mode, which is right up here past the screen, then you can scroll down and answer these questions. So add a vote to this poll for where you are and write down a little bit about why you want to be in this course. So we yes. see people want... Yeah. Yeah. As, as we can see in the in the poll, that uh, we have a wide uh, audience, not only from Alto but other universities as well. Welcome. Uh, <clears throat> if you you're probably not familiar with our faces, maybe some Alto people aren't either. But but it's uh, good to have a lot of people here from different places, and we hope that uh, the materials and the, the teaching we are going to present is is going to be applicable applicable in all kinds of like HPC situations. So we try to make it yeah. so that it's uh, more generic than just simply also. Yeah. I wanted to add that it's important that everyone tests this notes.codrefinery.org because we can see, you know, if if all of you would be start editing right now, do we need to increase, you know, the the resources of the server, but so far there's um, 40 people writing in there and it seems, seems that it's fine. I really like this, uh, what's your ideal way to spend the summer day? <laughs> I feel like doing doing them all <laughs> during the summer. Yeah. So. Okay, so it is now noon. So I guess we should start with the proper intro. So I will switch to my screen share. Actually, Enrico, can you let me share on Zoom? Yep. Actually, I probably can without you doing anything. Hey, it works. Um, and if I push here, 